Now we are wandering into a shop. Let's talk to the shopkeeper to see what he has at stock. I'm sorry, you've obviously wandered into what you believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. You can choose from categories what you want to buy. Bows, melee weapons, armors, Ooh, or special me. items this like this harp really used, a little dinged up and really not very good to look at. You may actually be able to afford it. We don't normally carry items like this, so I'll be happy to get rid of it. And hopefully you as well. To purchase something, just click on the buy button on the top of the screen. Just what I was looking for. Excellent! It looks much better on you than it does in my shop. I'd like to see your bows. Bows? You couldn't even afford the string. Hmm. Trade. Very nice, very accurate, very powerful, and most likely very unobtainable for a man in your position. It costs nothing to dream, however, but it will cost you some silver to actually purchase. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't got enough silver to earn some more useful things. See you so on, we can't There's a shop in Shotton that you might be able to afford. You may notice the appearance of the shopkeeper, very snobby and arrogant. Every shopkeep in the game has own attributes. One is professional, another doesn't really know what he's talking about, for instance. Let's go on with the gameplay. We got some more companions here. A heroine, using the crossbow, and also the crone, healing the bard. I actually got a bow as well. Another word to the minimap. The blue spots are safe spots, the red ones are enemies, the green ones are friends, and the blinking green spots are marking locations you have to go to in order to go on with the story. Okay, let's kill these wolves. Watch the bard and his companions fighting them. Charge! I'll take care of things. After killing some monsters and gaining experience points, you reach the next level. You will receive 2 points which you can allocate to your abilities and every second level up you can choose a new talent. I'm choosing the two-handed weapon skill, which allows me to use the claymore I already buy. This scene is very late in the game. Got some amazing weapons and skills already, like this triple bow shot of a singing high range sword, as well as some more mighty companions. Need me again? I thought so.
Now we are coming to the last gameplay aspect, the world map. Between the different locations on the Orkney Islands, you're moving around on the world map, mostly walking. This big flying creature here is only available near the end of the game. You will notice some enemies walking on the map as well. If you walk and bump into one of them, they will attack you automatically. If you're flying, you can decide whether you want to encounter and fight these beings or not. Need me again? I thought so. My source for the background information told at the beginning of this video is Wikipedia. I recorded nearly all the in-game scenes on my own. The game trailers introducing this video are the official ones. The music used is from Mark Pullen. Check out fanaticalproductions.net to get further information on him and his songs. This video was created using Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching it.